Hey YouTube, JB here. And today we are gathered here, not just for a wedding, but for a divorce. A divorce between a summoner and her orbs. <laughs> oh my God. So it happened. Um, we got Faye hero characters on the bridal banner, which I don't think we've seen that since since Bride Fjorm, and I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe. I was able to skip the, the Fallen banner, and I assumed I would be able to skip the Bridal banner. But here we are. Um, the drought is over. Let the Fae character season begin, because this is the first video in a long line of many more videos to come because it's going to get hectic from here on out um let's just get started we can talk more about the banner and what's to come and yeah what what's been going on in my game <laughs> oh no the wires are all stuck okay <laughs> And I got, look, look, I, I, I bought a pack. I kind of skipped all the golden wheat packs, um, but I got this one and I really, I really like the customization packs. This one's really cute. I love camping. So, and I, I like woods. And so I got this one. What's going on here? Is that like an ax or a sword behind Jenny here? Oh no. Okay, let's just get summoning. So we have our bridal banner. Um, to everyone's surprise, we have Embla and Sharena with Veronica. And I'm trying to fix stuff. I'm a little tangled. Can't do anything right. Okay. So we have our bridal banner. Um, Sharena and Veronica are the duo. So uh, I love them so much. They're probably my main target, even though I adore Embla. I love her gothic wedding gown and I love her mood all together. But Sharina and Veronica, I can't deny them. <laughs> so they are definitely primary targets. Um, normally, I would just pull the whole circle and um, maximize my orb efficiency. But unfortunately, I really just want to get the two of them. So we're just going blue and colorless, which is really sad because look at that first circle. <laughs> kind of broke my heart there. And it's a three star. <laughs> we got Claire. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna, I wanna skip the other colors even though it's a huge drain on resources. Um, mm, I don't really want, I like Nell. I like Nell and um, her, her twin brother, Nils, we'll just call him that for now. <laughs> um, even though I like him later on in the game <laughs> a bit more. Um, and Lapis, I do like Lapis and I think her art is amazing, but I just want to get Embla and Sharena. <laughs> so we're just going to try to keep doing that. Okay, so we got some blue here finally. Can we get lucky early? That would be amazing, but doubtful. <laughs> so, yes, this is this is my plan. If um if we don't happen to see any of them, which happens quite often, we will just probably just spark Sharena and then wait for the double special banner in the late fall for Embla. She will be back um, before Christmas, which isn't the best time of year for me to summon, um, just because by that time we get pretty low on orbs. <laughs> so, but we'll, we'll, we'll make room for her for sure. It just sucks that I'll have to wait the six months to get her. <laughs> so let's back out of there. But yeah, we'll definitely, ooh, this, yeah, blue. She's blue, right? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
But yeah, we'll definitely prioritize Sharena and Veronica. I did do the paralogs and they were so cute together. And it made me pretty happy um, to hear them talk about their brothers. I don't want to jinx it. The legendary banner's coming and they mentioned Bruno, but let's not jinx it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> over row but yeah it was it was very sweet that Sharina was you know empathetic with Veronica after losing you know her family members um who oh can they just like come back to the game already that would be pretty great <laughs> there, there has to be some sort of like time shenanigans they can do and like bring back her brother oh no but um it more than like the paralogs for me this month more than made up for the lack of actual story we received earlier this month Lynn Hart. Ah, so there's one green there shall we grab it no no no, we didn't. we're gonna wait for a regular now, not bridal now. Even though she has really good fodder, I just, um, I don't have like dragon projects, especially ones that are fast and can make use of what she has to give. Okay, we're getting a lot of greens, but we are seeing, seeing our target colors. So that's also good, but yeah, we are heading into, oh gosh, yeah. Please, please not Chad. But yeah, our, our, our orbs are going to start draining pretty fast. Like it seems like I have a good chunk right now, but this is going to take a lot. End of month banner is going to take a lot. And then we have the midpoint banner coming in early June. So that's, that's another chunk right there. <laughs> So right now I'm just trying to maintain, um, like, so, uh, that's a bit, a bit iffy, but if I can stay around 450, 500 for CYL, that would be pretty great. Um, I think it takes a little bit more than that to do all four sparks, but we'll deal with that later. Um, but right now I'm just trying to maintain that number. Um, and then pull on the banners that I need to <laughs> with what we're earning in the meantime. Um, there will be a jump probably with Binding Worlds, that token, um, which is good. It'll kind of pad things out. But yeah, after the midpoint, we'll, we'll be getting like, it'll be two, two summer banners. And then I think like another seasonal banner and then CYL, I think that's how it goes. And there's usually at least one fae character or um, hero's character in that batch. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have to consider that and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to skip a couple, at least two of those banners and, um, and there'll be like an Eblin hero that I'll be able to skip <laughs> for the end of the month because we will probably start seeing a lot of um, the heroes characters for mythics roll out. Um, it tends to be that time of year, um, starting with the midpoint banner. Oh, we're not getting anything. This is why I hate sniping. Mind you, it feels like I've summoned more just because we are sniping, but we're only at 13, so. So stop crying, JB. Ah. But yeah, we'll we'll try to maintain the the number around 500. Oh, oh, oh! This is new for me. She, I, she's been around the block a few times, but yeah, she's actually new for me. This is not a. Is it a floret? I can't remember what it's called. The little cauliflower. Yeah, a floret. I did skip that, that pack. <laughs> um, yay, for me. So let's check her out. 
and she's plus speed. I don't believe that's very good for her, but it might be. It's, it's, no, it seems very mid. <laughs> it seems very mid for an armor. Um, okay, well, she doesn't need a favorite. You're not hanging out. So we, we've gotten a five star at least and a bubble. Yay, <laughs> those delicious tempting bubbles. So let's check this blue one out. Maybe we can get lucky and it's a, another five star, perhaps two princesses. Oh, <laughs> no, it is not, it is Sully. And we'll grab this colorless stone. Um, I think we'll still stay away from those red. Just, uh, yeah, we're, we're focusing on who we need. Dwyer. And I'm mm, yes. <laughs> Seeing him takes the sting away. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Ah. So let's get out. Let's talk holoforms. So normally I don't talk about holoforms, but we are having the Fey one come um, at the end of the week, and we just got the data mine. So if you don't like being spoiled, look away right now, um, or maybe jump ahead because I'm going to talk about it. Um, it is. It's going to be the Niffle Sibbles, Sibbles, <laughs> Niffle Sniffles. Um, yeah, legendary Harid, legendary Gunthra. Uh, we knew about those because they didn't show up in the remix banners. Um, but to tack on, we're gonna have the the little sisters as well with Summer. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> ah, they're here. <gasps> yes. We don't have to worry about the double special hero banner unless I need merges. <laughs> I'm so so happy. They're here and they're perfect. Oh, and we talked about the little sisters and they came home. <laughs> ah, your Sharena is here dressed in her bridal gown. Come on, Princess Veronica, introduce yourself. Smile. Ah, they're adorable. I like, uh, if this year wasn't like so chock full of good stuff. I would want a plus 10 this duo. I'm not sure how well they'll score in Arena, but like people are still using Ninja Corn. So I don't see why she wouldn't do very well. And she would be amazing. She'd be so much fun in Arena. <laughs> well, like for me. <laughs> uh, so we got her and we don't have a lot of pity so i don't think we'll be pulling those other stones she's minus speed oh sh <laughs> yeah we're using fruit on that that's not a problem um i normally don't do this but i want to i want to see their conversation so we're going to take a bit of a moment here and just like indulge ourselves okay <laughs> what a treat to get to dress up in these lovely gowns don't you think i do not dislike mine but as for marriage itself i had never given it any thought now that you mention it i suppose i haven't seriously considered it either but when i see all those happily coupled heroes i do think to myself how nice oh i look at them and my hopes that one day i could <clears throat> enough of that oh <gasps> when you are to marry you have to consider how the situation would impact the future king veronica with her political agenda alphonse Oh, I see what you mean. Royal politics and that sort of thing. I wonder what sort of person the prince is likely to marry. Well, for starters, whoever it is will have to be intelligent, supportive, kind, strong enough to protect him from harm, of course. 
Ah, Princess Shirena. You are the image of an overbearing sister-in-law. How rude! <laughs> well, I'd feel the same if Bruno were here. Were he to marry someone lacking, I could not tolerate it. Oh my gosh, Bruno mentioned. <laughs> my heart. Uh. See? You're no different from me. Perhaps. But we should focus on finding good companions to marry. Not making and fulfilling checklists. You're right. During the festival, I'll focus on what it means to be a bride. <laughs> Come now, they have each other. <laughs> Very well. So shall I. Well, that is so, so sweet. Any way you want to chalk it up, that is a-okay. I want Bruno back. I want Bruno back. I'm sorry. I sound like a broken record, but can we get some... <laughs> can we get some redemption for him, please? Oh, now, should we keep trying for, like, copies just in case? these guys end up as a, a project of sorts i keep checking to make sure that emblem's not red because <laughs> i'm like um i feel like i i want more i want more Trina. <laughs> so i think we still might keep sniping as awful as it is because we are dropping under the the <laughs> the 700 now um yeah let's let's do this We'll keep going. Okay. Now if we can get an Ambla here, that would be amazing. Um, currently, she is now the, the target spark. I don't know what will happen if I were to pull a copy of her. I guess I would just grab another Sharena, to be honest. Because they're both, like, really good in their own right, so... I don't think merges on them would hurt. That's Satis. Good old boy. Oh, so now we're under, we're under 700, which is fine. Um, I actually ended up skipping the, the Loki banner. Um, not the banner. I am so sorry. The, the maps, the, the maps with her orbs and stuff. I wish I could have done the the little tiara accessory mod, but it's locked away until you do the the highest tier orb one. But I decided to not touch it. She will be back in the summer, and then I can claim it then. And now I have nine orbs extra in the summer locked away, so I do have that um, stashed away for for the future. And I haven't done. The bound here battle yet i haven't done um the quest for the main story or um this one right here the paralogue and i haven't done the training tower yet either <laughs> oh god what is this i'm well i'm not being punished that's for sure i couldn't ask for more at this point so we're, we're doing all right um but yeah i still have oh it's violent <laughs> yes I'll take this. I I know he's just ruptured sky water, but I'm would I'm so 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 happy to see him. Um, I don't know if I have something better than that. That's very like. Uh, <laughs> I think I still just have the neutral one because <laughs> I haven't got anything good. But Mina's attack isn't great either. Anyways, he looks great. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, what else do we have to talk about? We're we're getting close to the end. I'm kind of not paying attention. Um Seer Snare! We just had that. It's still up currently for the next couple of days. By the time this video comes out, it might be gone. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with that one. I think it was Shadows of Valencia and... <gasps> Sacred Stones? Yeah, Sacred Stones. <laughs> um, this is who I brought. It was pretty, pretty great. Um, I... 
pretty much used Fallen Leon and Pala to take care of most things. Um, and they, they just sliced through the maps like a hot knife through butter. So it was really good. I found the maps quite, quite easy with this group. Um, there was a lot of teleportation, which was nice. And yeah, I had, I had fun using them. I went with a different, I guess you could call it a strategy. Um, but just like some, some simple things. Cause usually, usually I, I keep my like legendaries aside for certain, um, events that call for certain games just because I don't pull for lots and lots of games but when I get the legendaries usually they're attached to something and it makes things easy um however this time around um I like I know legendary Mur is there but she was just like she was chosen because she filled the blue slot and she was, you know, she targeted a res. So she was kind of um, balancing the team out. But I've noticed that when I've taken legendaries or mythics or heroes with a skill PR off, I kind of bone myself <laughs> and just because I'm like, oh, they're really good, except for when they don't have this skill. And then you spend the, the event trying to unlock that skill with the random slot, and it just doesn't happen. And I mean, it, it's fine. But this time around, I didn't. I just kind of looked at like the heroes I liked and had, you know, good PRF weapons um, and brought more to the, the party with that other than their skills because those are just locked away. So I went through it and it was it was pretty good. I spent all my resources on other skills instead of trying to unlock certain ones that is completely out of my control. And I think that went better. <laughs> so yeah, and um, I don't think I brought a healer last time. And again, once again, I did not bring a healer. I just think they're kind of dead weight. <laughs> um, like it's, ooh, um, it's nice to have, but if like worst comes to worst, you do have those tiles where you can stop and rest. Um, but also I found that just having the two, what are they called? Mystic boosts. Yeah, I think so. Just having those two skills and rotating them around whenever needed, then they were just topped up all the time. So yeah, and we'll, we'll finish. So yeah, finish four. That's another one that you can use just to kind of keep, keep things topped up. Um, and I, I had no problem with the with my health. So yeah, that was my, my Seer Snare adventure for this month. Um, come on, Embla. Next month, we should be probably seeing Binding World. I think they just kind of go back and forth with those two. So that'll be interesting to get. Who am I expecting? I don't know. I don't know. Who do we expect? I'll probably keep my eye out for Halloween Grima. And who else? I don't know. There's not really any legendaries I'm looking for in there. Oh, Valentine's Lift. Valentine's Lift or just regular Lift. I never see them. <laughs> it makes me sad. Um, and then Spring Alphonse, which I don't know if I talked about. I had a really good one on my list, <laughs> on my friends list. Um, he was the lead for a particular person. But when I was doing the event, the person popped up and it was something else. It was something completely else. And I was so gutted. <laughs> <laughs> um, to, to learn that it was not Spring Alphonse for their Binding Blade Dispatch. It was something I did not need. Um, but uh, how heartbreaking is that? I wish we could see, see what other people dispatch and then make our choice instead of seeing their lead, <laughs> which you know, doesn't really help anything. Um, except for, um, oh, hello, Corn. Except for, I don't know. Where does the lead come in? Voting gauntlet. <laughs> That's about it. Um, 
does anyone change their their leaves specifically for that event? I don't know. <sighs> but good on you if you do. <laughs> okay, so we are coming up on to our 40. And we got some some stuff here. Um well I we may not well we might not have had a ton of five stars for this session, but I am so, so happy that we'll be able to walk away with at least one copy of Sharena and Veronica and one copy of Embla. So I couldn't really ask for more. A weight has been lifted. Was it worth the extra orbs? I think so. I think so. Roderick. So let me let me know what you think of it, this banner. Um, it was kind of unexpected for me, but are you a bride fan? Are you like one of the people that really enjoy seeing uh, your waifus all dressed up? <laughs> um, oh, speaking of waifus dressed up, we did not get Asker. Ooh. Anyways, I know a lot of people were disappointed not to see Asker and Emblem together. But I, I'm not too upset about it. What the heck? Oh, do I just pull this whole circle and get it over with? <laughs> God. Oh no. Please be a five star. So you can break my pity. It's not very high. It'll be like 4%, which is nothing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Isadora. Pity dead. Bubble charged. <laughs> but not all three, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, we might just grab that red. Call it a day. There's no point in opening another circle with like 3% pity. So I think that's that's what the sound decision should be. Um, but yeah, ask her on not on the bride banner. I think they're saving him and Ash for summer. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are like, summer hurried, summer hurried. But I think we'll see a summer asker at some point. He just feels like the fun beach type. <laughs> Get him in some, um, what is it, Johnny Bahamas or something. <laughs> uh, come on, Embla. Show us what you got. And it's forest. But yeah, let me know what you think. Where do you think Astro's gonna end up? Um, I I don't think they're gonna shelf him. I think he's too popular. Um, and yeah, him and Embla are wow. Okay, another five star. It's Rhea. You know who I would have loved to see? Yukimara. I would have preferred him over Freya here. <laughs> oh, but we'll we'll take this. Um, she's not new for me. I don't know when I when I got a copy of her, but I have. I should, no, I think I sparked this banner. I think I actually did. Oh, Isadora's is not new for me either. Oh, who are you with? Edelgard. <laughs> of course. I never looked at her. Oh, minus speed. That's wonderful. Not good at all. And let's let's finish this on a bang. Maybe we can get a lapis. Maybe we can get a chaise. Maybe we can get a three star and call it a day. Loyal blade, Agma. Oh my god, my bubbles are charged. Hmm. Let's ignore that. Let's ignore the bubbles, please. Yes. Ignoring bubs. I just thought it. So let's grab our Embla. And there she is. She's beautiful. And of course she's colorless, so she was the, the hardest get of them all, but I'm I'm happy to get both of them. Oh, she looks so good. 
closed off bride, Embla. I was tricked into coming to this bridal festival. Curse you, Asker. You and that damn summoner. <laughs> oh, I love her. I'm so tempted to go beyond the spark. I'm not gonna lie. That might be... No, I have always get boned when I do that. Ah, oh, I'm like thinking back and thinking back and every time I go past the spark, it like, like takes me to the ringer. It takes me like a hundred orbs to hit anything. And it's always the focus here I don't want. It will be a lapis. It will be a Nell. It will be a disaster. So we're ignoring those bubbles. We're ignoring those bubbles. And um, yeah, next week. Next week should be the legendary banner on the last of the month, right? 31st. So we'll be seeing who we get on the Wednesday or Thursday. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> Tell me how you did on this banner. Did you repull someone? Did you get the Shreda? Did you get an Embla? Did you go for Nell? Um, I know she's like really popular and I wish I could have got her, but not this one, not this Nell. Maybe another Nell. Lapis, she looks great. Will you pair her with Elkris? I don't know. You know who'd be really cute with Elkris? Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I went through their pair logs and they seem like they'd be really cute because they're both kind of like, oh, I, I, I don't want to participate. But, oh, Rana could be his rock. <laughs> it would be adorable. Anyways, blame me in the comments if you want. I don't care. Okay. Bye, everyone. What the fuck? Do you see this? Do you see this? What is this? This, this is Jenny line here. <laughs> That's scary. What the heck? Anyways, be kind to your voids.